I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the Car Hoop 2 Steps available for all 2007 and up JKs. These can be installed on either the front or rear doors, so if you're somebody who has a four door, you can get two of these and have steps for all doors on your JK. These are also available in black, silver, and a polished aluminum finish. Today we're going to talk through the installation of these steps as well as a few of the features and the way they're constructed. These steps are going to be for those of you who want to make it easier for you and your passengers to get in and out of your lifted or even stock height JK. These are of course going to be a much smaller and more minimalist option than a full on more traditional tube step that generally cover from the front tire to the rear tire. These are going to be just a much smaller step. However, these do have the same drawbacks to your traditional side steps. These are going to decrease ground clearance and you're certainly not going to want to do any sort of hardcore off-roading with these installed. These are also not going to act as a door ding stopper like a more traditional full tube step would. Unless the person is opening the door directly into this step, it's not going to protect your rocker from a door dig. However, these are going to be less expensive than those full on side steps because there is a lot less material here. As far as the way these steps are constructed, these are an aluminum alloy, which makes them light, strong, and resistant to rust, although you could get a little bit of corrosion on them from time to time. These provide 10 inches of stepping surface and they do have a raised perforated surface on top, which does give you a non-slip grip in wet or even muddy conditions. Now, one thing to consider about these steps versus a more traditional tubular side step is that these are more of a universal application and these do require drilling into your Jeep to get them installed. Now, the holes you're drilling are going to be into the bottom of the tub, so if you ever did want to remove these, you're not going to have big gaping holes in your rocker panels. However, you are going to have to drill the body, so that's certainly something you want to consider. And the brackets that are included in the kit are going to be steel. So even though the step itself is aluminum and will resist rust while it can still corrode, the steel brackets can certainly rust and could cause an issue down the line if you're somebody who lives in an area where they use a lot of salt on the road like we do. I would give this installation a two out of three wrenches because of the drilling required. The first step is really to assemble the side step with the brackets and there are two different sets of brackets, one if you're using this on the front door and one if you're using it on the rear door. So you'll assemble the brackets onto the step and then line it up where you want it underneath the Jeep. Again, because you're drilling the holes, there is no predetermined location, you can slide these forward and backward, although car does give you some suggestions for where you want them to make it easy to find the step when you swing your feet out and you're getting out of the Jeep. Once you have them lined up where you want them and you make sure that the mounting brackets are on a nice flat surface, that there's no bolts or bumps in the molding of the rocker that is going to be in the way, you can go ahead and mark those spots, use the center punch, and then drill out the holes. Finally, you'll use the included hardware to get these bolted onto the Jeep. The whole installation is very simple, but again, I'm going to give these a two out of three wrenches because there is drilling required. As far as tools go, of course you're going to need a drill, a good sharp drill bit, a center punch, and your more traditional hand tools and socket set in order to get these bolted up. I would give yourself around two hours to get one pair of these installed because like any time you're drilling or cutting, you want to measure twice or even three times before you go drilling holes in your body. As I mentioned before, these are going to be less expensive than a more traditional full tubular side step. And that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot less material here than there is on a full side step that covers from the front tire to the back tire. However, these don't give you as much protection from a door ding perspective, although neither of them are gonna give you protection off road. And in my opinion, I'd rather have a larger stepping surface to get in and out of the Jeep. I wouldn't feel as comfortable limiting myself to just this one little 10 inch step. However, if you like this style, or if you just don't like the more traditional tubular sidestep style, this is certainly an option. And for what they are, I'd say they're a pretty high quality material. I would like to see the brackets themselves be more of a corrosion resistant material, but the pricing does seem fair for what you're getting. So if you want a sidestep that's going to make it easier to get in and out of your Jeep, but you don't want a full, more traditional tubular sidestep that covers the entire rocker panel, 
these are going to be an option for you. Of course, you have a much smaller stepping surface and they're not going to provide the door dam protection of a tubular sidestep, but if you prefer this design, this is a nice option. So that's my review of the Car Hoop 2 Step, fitting all 2700 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.